Hey, it's a big day. The house gets juiced up. They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. Hey, David. Hey, John. How you doing, David? I'm doing great. Doing great. Looks like uh, you're making the change. Yeah, we're getting everything underway. You know, I, I've been hearing all this about this, this box change out and the need for it, and them changing suddenly uh, the power company what, what's going on with this the uh, the power company you got in you got different entities that you got to make happy at the times we're just outside the city limits the old box we had up there was considered an overhead underground meter most of the time the city will come out and inspect they'll turn it over so to it's energy. fine for the city it's fine for the city because that's an approved box that energy tells them oh it's okay we can go ahead and do that hmm. i put that one up there but since we're in the county here, we have to deal directly with energy. And they said, no, nah, we don't want that box. Uh, we want this box. And is part of it because we're underground, we're bringing our power lines underground and not overground? The other box is rated for under and over. This is strictly an underground feed with the hookups here, as you can see the pipe coming mm -hmm, up for sure. the underground service. Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, I didn't realize that was going to complicate things with my, my need to have all the power underground. I don't like to see power lines. Oh, sure, I understand. And like you said, it makes a nice clean installation. And like you said, the meter's on this side and the wire's on this side. I checked with eight supply houses in the city. Everybody had it reversed. They had the meter over here and the hookups over here. Well, we have our pipe on that side. Mm -hmm. I'd order this one from Houston just to get it in. Oh, man. So every, they said, hey, manufacturers, we make it. It's just getting it. So we've I got see. it now, yeah. and we're proceeding with everything else. Well, I appreciate you getting it out here and moving it along so we don't keep delaying the project. You know, and we'll be able to bring our deck on around here, too, so you're mounting it at the, the height that they, they require. At the height they require. Yep, mm -hmm. you got to have five foot to center. The breaker can't be over six foot mm -hmm. to center. Yeah. So we're, we're good to go. Now, it's not going to be a problem for the meter reader to come under the deck, is it, to see it? Oh, no, sir. Yeah, yeah. No, sir. Good, good. They'll be able to come right along. Yeah, excellent. All right. To finish tying everything in, I've been at it probably at least an hour or so now, getting everything mounted, tying the wires in, making a pretty land and everything. I've got another couple hours. So when will we actually have power in there? We've been running on temporary, and will today be the big day? Today, Energy is scheduled to come out today. They've All right. got their string line in, yep. so then we can start temporary power in there, get some plugs and switches and some lights on, power up air conditioners no. and everything that Exciting. Way. Yeah. Yep. If you're enjoying these updates, check in with us regularly, tell a friend about them, and guess what? We get power today. And subscribe to eHow Home.